Did UCLA chicken out? That's the question a lot of Georgia folks were having when we reported uh, earlier this week that UCLA and Georgia will not start the 2025 season playing in Pasadena at the Rose Bowl as expected. Georgia was going to start the season by flying out to Pasadena to play UCLA and uh, there'd be a return game in there. But from what we're told, and we're, we've broken the news, that the UCLA-Georgia game, the series will be canceled. The idea was that UCLA scheduled that game long before they were planning on going to the Big Ten Conference. And with the Big Ten schedule ahead, that's basically just a little too much. And so everyone's like, oh, UCLA's backing out, those cowards, they don't want to lose 50 to nothing. I don't know about that. I could say from Georgia's side, I don't think that, from what I'm hearing, Georgia's not too worried about canceling this game. Georgia also has a really tough schedule in 2025. Now, it's the reverse of the 2024 schedule, which is really tough, but to be able to host Texas, host Ole Miss, host Alabama, you're going to have a really good schedule. So adding UCLA in there and a trip out west to start the season, Kirby Smart hates you know the long recovery times that you know flying across the country with his players cost him. So I can see them saying, yeah, let's drop the UCLA game. We, let's get a, an additional home game in here and we'll be fine. So that's not the only news going on in the Georgia universe right now this morning. Uh, Charlie Hamm, the Duke kicker, he's been there four years. He was the Lou Groza uh, semifinalist, you know, very big award. Uh, he was one of the finalists or semifinalists for that uh, in 2020. He's got a, another year of eligibility, and he's transferred to Georgia. Now, if you remem- remember, uh, Jared Zirkel transferred to Texas A&M. He was Georgia's uh, uh, kickoff guy. You know, he wasn't the field goal kicker, but he was uh, kicking off. So Georgia would like to have, you know, a guy who's a specialist as a kickoff. Guy. So that sounds like what Charlie Ham is coming in to do. Now, he is a good place kicker. He's kicked a lot of field goals, but Georgia has a really good field goal kicker right now, so I just don't see that happening. Uh, he's, he will be a walk-on. A lot of people are speculating about that. He, he will walk on at Georgia. I'm sure he'll get a nice NIL deal, but, uh, yeah, he's not a, a scholarship player. A lot of raises. We told everybody that uh, Mike Bobo was going to get a raise. I know people hate the idea of Mike Bobo getting a raise, you know, because they hate Mike Bobo for some reason, but he basically went from $1 million to $1.4 and Glenn Schumann went from uh, 1.9 to 2 million. Glenn Schumann was actually, you know, people are still trying to hire him. So you know that he's going to get a, a bump in salary when other teams are trying to hire him. But Mike Bobo was still being paid by Auburn. That money stopped. So if you want a guy who's going to be a SEC caliber uh, offensive coordinator, you got to pay him market rates. So that's why he got the $400,000 bump. A lot of other coaches did too. Uh, there's a lot of $25,000, $100,000 raises for the Georgia coaching staff. And uh, there's going to be a raise for Georgia's athletic director. Uh, we've reported the news that Josh Brooks has already signed a contract extension. He will be at Georgia for more and more years. I'm not sure how many more, but uh, he, he's, he hasn't confirmed to me how long it'll be. I did reach out to him, and uh, he hasn't told me, but he is going to be Georgia's AD for some time. And, uh, oh, and the baseball dogs won a huge game last night against Tennessee. So check out ugasports.com for a lot more. We'll have it for you.